The wave of follow home robberies, including multiple thieves, putting law enforcement on high alert. Eyewitness News reporter Leanne Souter with more. Investigators say this terrifying trend is specific to Los Angeles. Crews of suspects in multiple cars going after victims. Two people killed so far, hundreds of others terrorized by these brazen thieves. An innocent victim mowed down for her expensive watch. One of five follow home robberies in the last 48 hours. The victim followed from a store in the jewelry district in downtown LA. She tries to flee, the suspects running her down. Look closely, you can see the woman throws her watch, which she knew they were after. In my 34 years in the LAPD, I have never seen this type of criminal behavior in such large groups. Coordinating to conduct attacks on unsuspecting citizens to take their property and or vehicles. The LAPD's new follow home robbery task force says gang members are to blame for the more than 220 incidents in the city. The thieves targeting victims with expensive watches and designer handbags. The items sold on the black market for pennies on the dollar. A total of 17 gangs have been identified so far. These gangs are from the South Los Angeles area, and many of them are rivals from different sets, indicating that they're not working together. Officials say the task force has been able to cut the crime, but say they're starting to see a surge once again. One of the main reasons, suspects who are arrested and quickly released only to commit more crimes, like Matthew Adams, accused of committing seven more follow-home robberies. I think that process is counter to the need for a criminal justice system to be viewed as a deterrent, a deterrent for those that engage in crime and a deterrent for those that would want to engage in crime or be tempted to uh, because there's a belief or perception amongst some in their community that there is a, there's a lack of consequences. You defend that shit, bro. You, can, you cannot, man. You cannot defend that, man. I don't care how they grew up, what their situation was. You just ran a woman over with her with that car to get a watch. A watch that's from what they say they research. You finna get maybe a hundred, couple hundred dollars. Come on. Not on man. not only that, man, you know, when somebody pulled that fire on you like that, I mean, for one, you, you get what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. It, it goes from fear to anger. Yeah. Just like that. Yeah. Even to see it. Cause, Cause you don't feel sorry for nobody. Like I don't give a damn how old that jit is. Yeah, yeah. You don't realize the consequences of your actions, and I can't feel sorry for you. You understand what I'm saying? When that judge give you twenty years. Not only that, if somehow that guy get the drop on you, get the his first. Hey. Yeah, 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 you're right. Yep. And it's over for you. Yep. It's over for you. And you do this for what? The, the 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 thing that really trips me out about a lot that I've seen in my lifetime, and I feel like this right here, if I'm going to do some dirt, man, it's got to be worth it. It got to be big. It got to be big. Worth it. You yeah. ain't finna. You couldn't convince me at 12. Uh, let me take that back. I used to do some dumb. About stuff. fifteen, you gotta hey, do it about fifteen. But I, but but I done it by myself. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Ain't nobody else know about it. Yeah. You know what I mean? I, I mean, I, I, I get that. I was doing yeah. it by myself. Yeah. But to get with a group of people and say, "Hey, look here, man. You know what I'm saying? We finna go do something that's gonna get us fucked up like that." Arm robbery, and we gonna get. I cut gonna be two hundred dollars. I cut gonna be two hundred dollars for it. Worth it, bro. Come on, man. And like I say, you know, uh, we we influence so much to do foolish things. We do. We do. That it's a blessing that we make it through that stage of our life. But when we make it through that stage of our life. I mean, there needs to be some type of moral obligation to to reach back to the youth yes. and try to straighten them out. Yes. So, hey, look here, you don't make the same mistakes yes. oh, yeah. that that we made. You know, that's like the video that you put that you you got on here. You know what I'm saying by being a hypocrite? Yeah. You understand yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah, I, I done foolish shit when I was a jit. Yep. But man, I don't want you doing the same. I thing do not. That, that I done. I do not. When yep. I was a jit. 
Yeah. That shit can yeah. get you killed. Yes. And I'm blessed yeah. I didn't get killed. Yeah, you know I'm blessed. Man, I'm so on, blessed man. that I, I'm not dead, that I got thrown away forever. Yep. You understand yep. what I'm saying? I mean, man, let me tell you something. Sometimes, you know what I'm saying? Like I say, on my birthday, bro, you know what I'm saying? I mean it, because I ain't never been too much of a man to share the tip, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And when I'm thanking the Lord for another year, you understand what I'm saying? Sometimes I share the tip because all the foolishness that I've done. Yeah. But but like I say, that's why I'm so passionate about trying to reach back. And I talk to any jit that want to listen. Exactly. You understand exactly. what I'm saying? Any jit that want to listen. Yep. Bro, this ain't the way you want to go. Yeah. And and it and it's other brothers out there that that got messed up that got a more powerful message because they might have gotten thrown away for a certain amount of time the way they could say hey look here no bro you know what I'm saying he right you really yes. don't want to oh, go yeah. down this route because I seen what's further down that road. Exactly. Now pick up the salt. Pray, baby, pray. Exactly. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. So at some point you need to cut that foolishness out. But like I say even us as jets and like i say we had people you know what i'm saying back in the rap game that you know you had a, a real wide range it was of diverse it topics, was diverse you know oh, yeah. oh yeah oh yeah talk about nowadays the the, the foolishness is so concentrated yeah. that it's hard to break away from it is that's all you hear that you know that, you that type of mentality yeah. of of foolishness yeah. you know let's get fucked up Let's let's do something extremely stupid. Yep. And, and it just don't make no sense. And they want to like glorify. They want to glorify. The consequences of your actions, man, you just don't realize. You understand what I'm saying? How big of a price that you could possibly have to pay for doing something stupid or even being around somebody doing something stupid. Like I say, man, I got a homeboy. His son, uh, was driving the car. He gave some people a ride. They basically done like a a, a drive. You, you know what I'm saying? They they was going they was going to shoot some damn body. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My homeboy's son seen some some girls that he knew, and he said he told him, "Hey, get out the way." Yeah. Right. He didn't pull no trigger. He said he didn't know what the boys in the in the back was about to do. But by him saying, hey, y'all get out the way, that let the prosecutor know that, hey, look here, no, you knew what they was about to do yeah. because you told them to get the hell out the way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gone forever. Yep. The company that you keep. Can mess you up. Oh, yeah. Easy, easy. So we have to figure out a way to, to, to let the youth know that, hey, look here, man, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's got to be better ways that we can have these conversations. That, hey, look here, man. That guy right there, you need to leave him alone. Leave him alone. Deal, yeah. deal, I don't give a damn how cool he is. Deal with him from a distance. Yep. You understand what yep. I'm saying? That 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 boy there headed down a dead end road at a very high rate of speed. Yeah. And, and multiple need, people done talk to him and try to get need, him to change his rate. Hey, get away. You need from him. to get yourself away from get him. Get away from him, man. Yeah. You know, not only positive messages, I think we just need more infrastructure, black owned businesses, or people in general who is willing to give opportunities to to misguided you. That's what you need. You need somebody to give opportunities to misguided you. When they say they need money, they need a job, they need structure, you got to give it to them. You Then they have no excuse for why they're doing what they're doing. Bro, you, it's jobs right here, bro. It's something you could do. You could have volunteered right here, man. You know, you got boys and girls club. You got the coach up there at school. You used to play football. It's a lot of stuff you can do to make some money, man. We got to put that out there, man. I, I'm, 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 I'm glad you said that like that because, like I said, I hear that a lot. You know, like we have to give kids better opportunities, but what we miss is the details. Yeah. What exactly are you talking about? How? What? What in particular is needed? You yeah. know what I mean? Because uh, I've heard so, so many times uh, uh, the, the, the kids need somewhere to go. Uh, nah, that's not necessarily true. They got they got places to go. Yeah. You we know ain't talking I mean? about a hangout. We ain't getting no hangout. It's just when they go to these places you have violence at these damn that's places. true that's true so i've heard rec centers and uh, ymcas and yeah. all this other shit. you understand what i'm saying throughout the years and every time i hear it i'd be like now do you actually think that's gonna work uh -uh. you get what i'm saying a bunch because of misguided you, kids you, all together you, you'll have these same kids from different neighborhoods that feel like they got a rep they they set oh yeah you understand what i'm saying a, a, a rep day whatever in the hell 
part uh-huh. of town, the same damn town that they're from. But well, whatever part, north side, east side, yeah, yeah, whatever. you understand yeah, what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah. So they come together, and the first thing they want to do is fight. Oh yeah, prove how bad they is in front of these little girls out here. Oh yeah, and somebody got a damn gun. One of them do. You already somebody know, got a do. damn gun, and that's oh, yeah. that's that's where you hear a lot of this foolishness come from. And then nowadays you got kids that just don't know how to take a ass whooping, so they want some get back. You understand what I'm saying? And that's when all this this foolishness start. Yeah, we got to so, have more stress. Exactly. So I think when you sitting down, you have to really come up with a detailed strategic plan. Yeah. To put in action, just don't say, "Well, you know what I mean." They need a rec park, and they need this, and they need that. Yeah, they do need jobs. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. I mean, uh, to occupy your time. You know what I mean, and get you a little bread in your pocket or something like that. that but you, you know got a mold of mind. You got the mold of mind as well. Mold, you know what I'm saying? I think. Uh, I think this, this statistic. I think, uh, and I can't find it, but I know it's true. I think they say like uh, young adults, teenage, what is is like, like the most unemployed mm. group that's in the United States. So I mean, yeah, you're gonna turn to a lot of foolishness by doing. Oh this. yeah, oh yeah, you know oh yeah. That's but true. uh. You know, but but like I say, man. Again, only thing we can do right now, man. You know what I'm saying? Sit back, watch the foolishness until men and women get together and say, "Hey, look here, we need to make this a priority." We do. And we, we do. And we need to come up with a detailed plan to put in action and walk it all the way out. We got to. We got to. That's the only way it's gonna be a future for our youth, man. That's the only way some of this crime gonna cut down. It's harming us. Harming us more than anybody. Mm-hmm. And anybody, man, and uh, that that's just the big issue, man. Not enough structure in our community to help build a better future, man. That's mm-hmm. that's what we need, man. Mm-hmm. We don't need no more, you know. As much as we love hip hop and all that, we don't need more entertainers, man. We need yeah. more politicians, you know. Yeah, yeah, we, we need, need more people. people we need more people speaking up and paying attention. That's it. Yeah, we need more people speaking up and we need more people paying attention. That's like I was trying to tell you about. Uh, the commission meetings and all that and see what's actually going on in your oh, yeah. town because a lot of things get ran on us because we ain't present. Ain't nobody going to You know get. what I mean? And and even the people that we put in position to go to these meetings, they say they want to go to these meetings, they might not have our best interests in no. mind or in heart. Nope. You know what I mean? Or don't even have the support. Yeah, you get what I'm saying? Yeah, 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 because, yeah, yeah. because you don't hear this foolishness that, that they're talking about and nobody's there to back him or her up. Yeah. Yep. You know what I mean? So they feel comfortable saying whatever because, hey, look, ain't nobody in here. But, ain't nobody in here. <laughs> but us. You understand <laughs> what I'm saying? Hey, and don't nobody agree with you. Yep. So, you know you what I mean? Yourself. These yep. funds and this what's name is going to go here, here, and here. Well, you we decide. Yep. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah. But that's what it is on that there, bro. Yeah. Y'all live right? Play fair. I let us. All right. <laughs>